Namaste everybody, Bruce here from rootsoflife.org. I wanted to take a moment and bring up an idea that has come to me repeatedly in my recent meditations actually. And it's a question or maybe a pondering of this thought, what if? And the way that's been brought to me is this, and I know that this might sound absurd, and I know it might sound a little bit <clears throat> egotistical, but, let, but hear me out in this video, and I, and I wonder how you'll find it, and it will impact maybe your own meditation practice, or perhaps you've even had these same thoughts in your practice. And if you have, I'd love to hear about them in the comments to this video. So the question of what if, well, what if what? What am I focused on here? What if it's just me? What if this whole experience that I'm having as life is a fabrication, is an experience that is solely set up to help me understand something about myself? What if this entire experience that I'm going through is something I've already agreed to. It's something that I have already come into an embodiment for in order to learn these trials and tribulations as I've been going through my life. It's an interesting way to think about things because if you ask that to yourself, how can this be the case if it's the case for me as Bruce? Well, how can that be the case then for you? Well, this is where I want to unpack the idea that this is not an egotistical question. It's actually a very liber a liberating question. If you pose the same exact question to yourself, then what if, what if I'm a teacher that's helping you on your journey via this video or my other content here on YouTube, or perhaps we're working together at rootsoflife.org, and that's helping you understand the context of your own path. Am I not here then to help you? Am I not here to help serve you and to help you find a deeper space in your own journey and your own liberation? Who's to say that that's not happening for every single one of us? And so all of a sudden, this idea of what if becomes a question that's not centered on me, but it's actually encompassing all of us. And I've been finding an increasing amount of beauty in that understanding of that topic or of that question. What if? So what if when I sit in silence, when I sit in my own practice, my meditation practice, my Reiki practice, my psychedelic journeys, whatever it might be, what if in that space, the only thing that exists is me? Well, then... Where are we? Or what are we? Or further, what is this experience? Well, the way that I started to look at this is, what is that idea of me? That's my ego, right? So what if we can go beyond that? If I can supersede the idea of me or I, well, then it very quickly becomes a or I hope so anyways, for all of you listening. And for me, it's, it's been, I don't know, maybe a month or two months where I've been kind of developing this feeling. Once I supersede the I, then it, to me, starts to become very intrinsically felt, this notion of we. That we are all on that journey together. We are all connected and we are all linked and bound and I'm deeply appreciative that these concepts are very often talked about in the meditative space, right? There's books upon books upon books that are written about this topic. This idea of the interconnectivity of all things. Indeed, it's the, the basis of the practice of Reiki, which I love so much. And in that idea of we, then the separation between you and I, you as the listener to this video and, and me sitting here recording this video right now, 
that starts to break down. And when that breaks down, we recognize a oneness. Or we can start to recognize that there's a story beyond duality, right? And so I found a lot of comfort in the pondering of that question, what if? And I like how that's developed for me, where it's this idea initially, like, because I'm sure this resonates with a lot of people, this feeling as if we are an actor, like in the Truman Show, for instance, where everything is kind of staged and rigged for us to learn something, right? And I find a lot of beauty and comfort in that, in the sense that we're not alone and we are supported and we are kind of pushed along our journey at a speed that we've already determined with people that are already there and agreed to help us. And these things are really beautiful to me. This is the idea that a teacher comes to you when you need it, when you're ready for them, the right teacher comes to you. You know, again, we hear these things all the time, especially in the metaphysical world and in metaphysical practices. And I think that that idea of what if, what if it's just me? Well, maybe it is. There's no way to prove that, right? There's no way to prove yes or no to that. I'm sitting in a room, for instance, right now, without getting too philosophical on this entire video, but in this room, there's nobody else. Now, unless I have evidence, then there's no evidence to suggest that there's anybody else anywhere. Now, of course, my family can come into the, into the room, or I can get a phone call, or all these types of things, and and of course, these things exist. I'm not trying to say that they don't exist. But what I am trying to say here is when I'm seated in this very room doing my own practice and that stillness comes, that, are, that stillness arises within me, it very quickly becomes a world of isolation or oneness or singularity. And I don't mean those from a negative perspective. I mean just simply I'm here right now on this mat doing my practice with no other external stimuli interrupting it. And in that space, then I begin to supersede the idea of I. So it's almost like we go beyond the concept of the self. And there we can start to recognize the concept of oneness or the inner connectivity of the energy of the universe. And so, you know, maybe this is an interesting idea for you to ponder uh, when you're doing your next seated meditation or your next Reiki practice, for instance, either on yourself or with a client. What if we supersede the idea of the self? Then where are we? So enjoy that thought, everybody, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new, a very warm welcome to you. And as always, I appreciate your like and subscription to the channel. And until the next video, be well, everybody, and in Gashau.